Man, it's crazy. I wouldn't say so much the end result, but I think it's going to be something that a lot of producers face. Like, you know, for me, I'm I'm the type of producer where I don't walk into a room and I'm like, yo, I'm this person. I did this. I got this coming out. I was just with this person. It's like, yo, like, I'm me. I'm a press play. You know what I'm saying? And it's crazy because um, recently I had one session in particular where you know, the artists came in, they asked me to come, you know what I'm saying? They came in, um, I pressed play and they just ignored me. They didn't say nothing to me, you know what I'm saying? Like, it was other people in the room, like, you know, so how y'all been? You know, how's everything going? They, they ain't speaking to them. Just a straight up ego, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, it, it, it happens often, man, where you get in these sessions and it's just like, you feel like you don't belong there. Like I, I remember having a session down in Miami where um, I set my computer up, you know what I'm saying? They're like, yo, I'll be back. And they never came back. I didn't even get to play a record. They just never came back. And so I think, you know, the most important thing and the end result was the lessons and understanding and believing and, and staying true to me. You know what I'm saying? Like at the end of the day, despite what somebody else thinks or how they may act is still being true to myself and knowing who I am, you know what I'm saying? And the gift that I have. So, you know, of course I could have walked in them sessions like, yeah, I did Cardi, I did this, I did that, I did that. Then it's like, oh, okay, well, I listen now, you know what I'm saying? But it's just like, again, I'm more so about the person that you are. So if you're showing me that's truly who you are. That it's it don't really it don't really matter, you know. So, um, yeah, I think that's that's the end result that that I love to see, which is, you know, again, just reminding myself to stay true to me. It wasn't really a studio. It was in a studio, but it wasn't a session. Um, this was two nights ago. Um, I went to my my good friend Drew Gooden's house. Um, me, him, Mo, we're over there, we're sipping wine. Tobias Harris comes over there. You know, I'm, I'm starting to get into wine now, you know what I'm saying? And came over there with a nice bottle of wine. And it was, one, it was dope for us to just be in conversation. Uh, it was our first time meeting Tobias. Uh, and, you know, Drew's like the OG in a sense. He's 38, but super successful, you know, outside of basketball and um we're watching the game. We're talking about life. We're talking about what it's like to be a black man in America, as well as a successful black man in America, and just you know breaking these things and generations in our family. Um, and it was dope. You know, it was dope to have this conversation without being judged or without worrying like if somebody had ill intentions or you know if somebody's trying to set you up or whatever. And then from there. Um, you know, we started talking about our music, you know, and Drew has a studio in his house. We go in his house and it was crazy because um, the way it all happened, he was like, yo, uh, Tobias was like, yo, Mo, let me hear some new stuff. So Mo played his new stuff. And again, I told you, I'm, I'm quiet. I don't say nothing. I chill. And Mo was like, yo, don't get it twisted. Like this, this one of the best producers in the world right now. And Spice like, okay, like, you know, that's that's what it, that's what anybody would say. And he was like, nah, like, like literally, like billboard, like these one of the top producers right now. And he's like, okay, well, well, let me hear something you did. So of course the first record I played Watt, and he's like, oh. Then I go back, you know, to the, the Lil Wayne record, and it's like, oh, then we're talking about new artists. But the best part about it was Tobias Harris was like let me put y'all on this up stuff and he put us on to some new artists i've never heard of and it was just like it was crazy because you know one thing i talk about is just the passion that so many people have for music whether they're produced or artists not right but i'm legit everybody was like yo bro you need to be a dj bro like your your choice in music like drew gonna like yo i'm going to tulum like play me something that i would play on a beat at 11 p.m., sipping a margarita, you know what I'm saying? Tobias Harris like, Ben, I got you. <laughs> Bomb! He plays it, and it's that same vibe, but the experience was just crazy because it was just such an unexpected day, but yeah, man, that's the, it's a standout moment.